is energy. Energy is something that they cannot avoid. Therefore, we physicists classify them as three types of civilizations. Type one is planetary. They control the weather. They control earthquakes, volcanoes, like Buck Rogers, that's type one. Type two is they control stars, like Star Trek. They actually control the output of a few planets and stars. Type three is galactic. They control the power of the entire galaxy, like the empire of Empire Strikes Back, or the Borg. And then the question is, what are we on this cosmic scale? Are we type one that roamed across the Earth, controlled the weather? Are we type two that sail among the stars? Are we type three that roam the galactic space lanes? No, we're type zero. <laughs> We don't even rate on the scale. In fact, you can see that about 100 years from now, we will be type one. For example, what is the internet? Millions of words have been written about the internet. But let me tell you what the internet really is. It's the beginning of a type one telephone system. That's what the internet is. What is the European Union? The beginning of a type one economy. And why did these European countries gang up together? They've hated each other for 10,000 years, ever since the ice melted. Why are the European unions getting together? To compete against us. And who are we? We are NAFTA. There's also the beginning of a type one language. It will be English, not French. <laughs> English French one. is the beginning of a type one language. We're seeing the beginning of a type one sports, Olympics, Soccer, type one sports. Beginning of a type one music. Rock and roll. Rap music. Oh. <laughs> a type one culture beginning right before our eyes. Now, you ask, what about a million years ahead? I gave this talk once in London, and a little boy comes up to me, about age 10, a little pesky kid. And he, he tugs on my pants. He said, Professor, you're wrong. <laughs> this time, four. I didn't look down at this kid, and I said to him, shut up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go play in traffic? <laughs> well, there's a nice intersection over there. And he kept hugging on my pants and said, Professor, you are wrong. There's type four. And I said, look, when you start to go millions of years into the future, there's only planets, stars, and galaxies. That's it. Planets, stars, and galaxies. There is no type four. But he insists that there is type four. And I said, well, what is the energy source beyond a galaxy? And he says, the continuum. Now, for you Star Trek diehard fans out there, yes. who can tell me the name of the only Type Four civilization on network television? The Borg. The Q. Go to the Q. All right. We have some hardcore Trekkies <laughs> in the audience here. Really hardcore. That would be dark energy. So, to answer your question, the energy source of a civilization millions of years ahead of us would be dark energy. The energy of nothing the energy of the vacuum that is pushing the universe apart. In fact, most of the energy of the universe is in the form of dark energy. Okay, let's take the next question. All right, uh, first of all, Doctor, thank you very much for coming to Seattle. All right. And uh, this is a bit off topic, but uh, what's really going on with the Fukushima nuclear power plant? And specifically, if you don't mind me asking, uh, how do you want to see water that's been sprayed on the reactor core and in the uh, fuel rod storage containers and the amount of water that's been boiling off resulting in, uh, in the reactor and the fuel rods becoming entombed in salt? Uh, what's going on right now and what do you think is going to happen in the near, intermediate, and well, I have a vested interest in this. My relatives are in Tokyo. 